Hey guys, wanted to bring you another video of um, the Buffalo Bills and the New York Jets of an update of the timeline. So earlier this week, hopefully you guys got some news and reports and read um, everything what's going on in Buffalo. So what's going on is that there was so much snow this past week and from what we've read and heard it takes one feet for one person to shovel out usually a day so according to the latest report there's about seven feet of snow so imagine that seven feet seven days hmm doesn't seem like we're going to get a game so that's when they figured because there was so much snow by I believe Thursday they decided on Friday that they're going to move the game to Detroit and so that worked out because Detroit Lions are actually going to be in New England so here's what's going on and so they on Friday um, was a probably one of the most unusual circumstance because in my lifetime I've never seen well never heard a city being buried with so much snow I mean according to this this is so much snow that it will last or is equivalent to the amount that they would have had for the whole uh, winter season so they had to have snowmobiles to pick up some of the players or most of the players to get them to the stadium for that's unusual I would say because you have to remember most of the roads are closed and they can't drive to the stadium and stuff like that because originally they were tweeting to try to have fans to help clear um, Ralph Stadium and so that was not going to be possible in that sense and so they were Ralph Wilson Stadium is not going to be cleared by then because there's 200 uh, 20,000 um, pounds of snow according to this so that's a lot of snow you have to clear by then and they weren't going to get it it would have been probably fun for most fans to watch in that type of condition and see how things would turn out but since th you're not going to have a full stadium it doesn't feel like it's a home game and anything like that so they had to come up with um, a relocation spot. So what they thought was um, Washington DC was on the list, um, Detroit, and there was a third one, I forgot the location actually, sorry. But I, I, my, one of my thoughts was they could move it to Toronto it, because they do want to expand a global uh, game and they've had some of the Buffalo games in Toronto so I, th I thought that could be a great place for them but I guess the NFL didn't think it, or agreed to that location so the next thing was that I guess to make things neutral they moved it to Detroit so they pushed back the game for Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern time so the other thing since they were afraid that a lot of fans from Buffalo can't make it what they offer to the city of Detroit is the game is free so hopefully I believe they're going to start giving out the tickets tomorrow 10 a.m. from what I heard and read latest is at 10 a.m. Uh, you can log on Detroit's uh, Lions website and start claiming or trying to get the tickets it's kind of a first come first serve from what we understand so if you live in Detroit and I know that part of the country has been hit pretty hard for a lot of families and if you've always wanted to take your family to an actual football game this is the best opportunity I know they're not your beloved Lions and there's no team or players that you might be rooting for or have an interest um, let me try sell this for you this is the AFC rivals that they could maybe make things interesting somehow um, I mean yeah they're not 
anything close to um, the NFC North, but at least you could have a rivalry game in that sense to see them play. Um, I mean, yeah, it's bad that you're going to see a bad product from the Jets, but at least the Buffalo Bills are 500. Um, that's at least one thing you could consider. Uh, I mean, if there's something you could look forward to also, is that the Jets did upset the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's another thing that's possible. Um, Jets probably had more practice time than Buffalo because Buffalo had probably only got to practice this uh, today. Um, so that's the other thing you have to consider. So, um, the New York Jets also, I mean, they, they're another thing you could take away the Oakland Raiders upset the Kansas City Chiefs. So, this game could be even because of the special circumstance that's going on. And so, I would say if you really want to go, it's free. I'm not sure about the parking situation, or uh, I know you're going to have to pay concessions. So, I'm not. I would say if there's any way you could at least fork up if you have to pay for parking and food, I would say it's a great opportunity to take your family. I would do it. If you got nothing else planned, you got a game. It might be an entertaining one because rivalries always brings out the best of each team and players and coaches. So hopefully you guys get this and get to see this video because I would say you should try to go if you live in Detroit or have an opportunity. So hopefully you like this, uh, saw this informative. Go ahead and like, share, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully we'll see a full crowd in Detroit for this game. And uh, hopefully you guys can subscribe to support this channel and get more news and updates regarding NFL, anything related. Thanks.